What up, yo? What's poppin'? It's your boy PR Links, bringing you another game of Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare Remaster. Remaster. Pretty good game here. Pretty decent game. Your boy uh, did pretty good, man. I'm I'm proud of my uh, accomplishment in this match. Playing the map uh, Creek. It's a new map from the new map pad that just came out a few days ago. Now. <clears throat> this was a live gameplay uh this was one of my best matches in the gameplay on the on the live event that this was like last week or so something like that i don't quite remember which date but anyway i'm bringing you guys my wish list for the next call of duty now every youtuber out there has a wish list for call of duty wish list every year call of duty comes out youtubers out there that have call of duty in their channels they'll give you their wish list for what they expectations or what they want call of duty to to be a uh, 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 and and and, uh, and the things they would like to see for the for the newest call of duty so i'm gonna throw out some things out there for you guys if you agree or disagree whatever leave uh, your opinions in the comment section below and just let me know how you feel about it but let's get right into it, bro. The first thing I want to see the next Call of Duty to have is better score streaks. We have gone too many years or too through too many Call of Duties where score streaks are really lame. Really, they're really lame. And I I don't think that a, a Vietnam game is gonna give us a score streaks that are actually. Uh, that they're gonna be better than this game that than than um that iw don't get me wrong but they're not gonna be innovative enough i want to see score streaks that we can actually control you know what i'm saying i want to see score streaks that we can either control or we can uh, set a mode to be ai and i want most of my score streaks to be like that you know what i'm saying i want my score streaks to penetrate walls either take fnj away from the attachment and put it in a perk like you have in this game when you have deep impact bring this back bring deep deep impact back okay and have deep impact to affect the score streaks so that way when you call out a helicopter their bullets goes through the freaking uh, uh buildings you know what i'm saying bring common sense back into call of duty now think about this how are you gonna have a, 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 a nine millimeter suppress with a FNJ bullet, right? Penetrate the walls, but a helicopter with a but a heavy gunner with a 50 caliber bullet doesn't penetrate walls. That doesn't make sense, homie. You gotta bring back sense into this game. From day one, I had a big issue with that. From day one, this game, Skull Streets had never was, like they were, they were like, Back in the day, like in Black Ops and Modern Warfare 2 and whatnot, Skull Streets were pretty strong. But they've been nerfing the Skull Streets so, so bad that it's pretty much useless. Infinity War is, is, is I mean, um, inf, 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 yeah, Infinity War, inf, inf, Infinite Warfare is one of those games. The Skull Streets are pretty much useless because all you got to do is a slap on Splunt Eye and, and that's it. You're pretty much safe. From, from getting killed by score streaks. It's stupid. If you get inside of a building, you're pretty much safe from score streaks. There's nothing like dogs or nothing like that that will that will get you out of the freaking um, building. Big mistake by by uh, by the studios and, and by Activision, in my point, because people want to play this game for score streaks. And score streaks is the reason why people play this game, okay? It's not for you to just... Uh, um, or uh, walk, over, you know, run around the map and sh and fly around everywhere. People play this game for score streaks. They want to go ham. They want to do well. So you gotta bring by the score streaks, man. It's very important. Now I want to see the ten point system back into this game when it comes to perks. Okay, I wanna, I wanna, uh, like they had on Black Ops Three. Where you have blind eye will protect you from from AI control streaks, while cold blooded will protect you from from man operated cold streak. I want to see that back again. 
okay? I want to see awareness back again into the game. You got to improve the sound of footsteps in Call of Duty, man. It was it was pretty decent and I mean, it was pretty good in Black Ops 3 at the beginning. Then the nerf then it became okay. But you got to you got to listen. This is what I'm trying to say to you guys. I want to be able to have a choice or when I customize my, 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 my setup. Okay. Either I can use awareness and, and, and use my ears to, 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 um, to see whether to, 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 to be able to, uh, lo locate the enemy or I can use the little map to be able to locate the enemy. You gotta set the scorchers in a way, they're not the scorchers, my bye bye. The perks, they have to be set away in a way where I can make a choice. Either I use my ears or I use my minimap, but not both. That's the problem with, there have been a problem with Call of Duty is that you haven't been able to set up the score streaks where you, when you have players have to make a decision. Either you use your ears to, to, to find the enemy or you use your eyes via little map. So there's a way that you could set up the, the perks so that the people can make a choice. Okay. And that, and not really have be able to use book because then it becomes OP. That's how this burst awareness, uh, ghost, um, um, the silence. That's how this purse becomes, becomes, uh, uh, OP because you haven't been able to make it. So people have to make a choice. So I like to see common sense back in call of duty. And I want to be able to have to make decisions and, and have custom be able to have to have make custom classes for different, um, situations. I play IW man and I can, and I play with the same freaking class. Okay. I don't need really, I can play with one class the whole day and do well with, you know what I'm saying? I don't like that because it becomes boring. It becomes boring that, ha you know, using the same, just one class. What's the point of having all these slots? for custom classes when you can just pretty much make one class and pick up one gun that you pretty much good with and you and you and you don't have to change it you could go the whole day with that setup it just is i don't know about you guys but uh, to me i don't think that's fun so i like to be able to have to make decisions and actually make classes to counter different situations you feel me um Another thing I like to see for the next Call of Duty, I want to see the matchmaking that Black Ops 3 had. I think Black Ops 3 was, had a pretty decent matchmaking system. It wasn't too OP. It was pretty good. Now IW has a pretty decent matchmaking system too. I play many, uh, many lobbies where I don't think that I'm, I'm playing against a lot of sweaties and I like that. You know, I like that. The problem with IW is the servers are garbage. The servers are trash. So, you know, don't use IW servers, please. You're going to ruin the game. Okay. I think that the servers for IW are trash and that's the problem with IW in, in a sense. They got more than just that problem, but the main problem they are find with IW is the servers. You got to use better servers and, uh, but the matchmaking is okay. It's not too sweaty. It's not too bad. It's just okay. All right. Black Ops three has a better, in my opinion, a better, better servers. Uh, I mean, better, uh, uh match matchmaking. But overall, it's okay. And I want to see that back. I do not want to see I, uh, Advanced Warfare, Sweaty Ash matchmaking. I don't want to see that. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you a warning right now. If you bring the same freaking setup that you have for matchmaking from, from RW, might as well hang it up. Is you, you're going to ruin it. You're going to fail. People don't want to be in this competitive mode all the freaking time. They don't want that. So just bring back Black Ops 3, matchmaking, settle, everything gonna be fine. 
All right. I want to see awareness perk being back again, man. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I do want to see awareness back. I want to see stream. I want to see um, the uh, unlimited sprint so that the game doesn't slow down. And, and like I said, man, I just want common sense back into Call of Duty for a change. Anyway, that's all I had to say for today, man. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to uh, to my channel. I got you welcome to check out my other media outlets like Facebook, Twitter. Just go to my channel and on the YouTube banner, you're gonna see links to all those. Your boy went eleven. Your boy, your boy went twenty-two and two. Best KD ratio in the game. I just beasted it, man. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hit that like button, share the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Adios.